Hello and welcome to today's live event and we are going to look at R-O-S-H-I, Roshi, which is an amazing platform for educators and maybe caregivers who would want to create a lesson. Now notice what you create a lesson from and did I mention it's completely free. So here it is. Notice uh, you can generate a lesson from an article, generate a lesson from a YouTube video, modify a lesson that you already have or that you created here on Roshi, save and print and share a lesson and generate a story. Isn't this absolutely amazing? So let's take a look at generate a lesson from a YouTube video. Notice what's here. You click on it. Let's do that now. Wait a few seconds and here it is. This is the tutorial on how to do it. So you click on it. Notice they use Loom for this while I'm using Screencast-O-Matic. These are both screen recorders and you're invited to try both. And you click on it and you learn how it's done. Not going to do it right now. I'll let you do it later on. So let's continue and start our very own lesson from a YouTube channel after, of course, viewing the tutorial. So get your YouTube video link ready so you can add it. I've got mine ready. So I'm going to paste it. Here it goes. And then notice all you need to do is hit generate a lesson. That's as easy as it gets. So let's take a look at that. You add your the URL of your video right here and then you click on generate a lesson. And we're going to do it right now. We're going to generate a lesson. Click on it and wait a few seconds. Now notice I've got 10 lessons with the free version. If you upgrade, you get more. We can also export this as an H5P, which is really amazing. If you're not familiar with H5P, you can learn more about it on H5P. There are lots of YouTube videos out there on H5P. And uh, if you take a Moodle course with me, you'll be able to use it. So notice this is using the first 250 words of the 982 word article. I can increase the limit and pay more. It's still generating the content. So you'll be prompted with this uh, encouragement to upgrade, but you don't have to. Notice what's here, a summarized text okay, of the video and then vocabulary. Notice the vocabulary where you match the terms. So what you get here, first of all, is a summary. Notice a summary and then vocabulary okay, with match terms to their definitions. Okay, so you need to match them. And then true or false. Absolutely amazing, right? It really is a teacher assistant. Really easy. And then you can, of course, edit the lesson and add, make changes and add to it, which is great. Isn't that absolutely amazing? That's how it's done with a YouTube video. Then you save it. Notice the save here so that you have it. Let's do that now. You can also print it. We're going to save it to make sure that it stays. Notice the ed edit button is also up here so that you can edit at any time. There it is. You can also export as uh, H5P if you upgrade to a Pro. Notice the edit here. 
you can change the name. So let's do that. Now we're not going to call it lesson one, but you could if you want to. You're just letting you know that you have 10 and you've done yours. Your first one. All right, so we're going to call this um, task of a web quest. Of a web quest. Okay, there's six main parts of a web quest or blocks. And then we're going to hit confirm so that now we have task of a web quest and we know exactly what it's about. And uh, notice there's the video. So they'll be listening to the video and then doing some of these. Notice also the text complexity uh, for English language teachers. There is the length, average sentence, uh, Sefer level, B2, CLB level or CLEB, notice here is uh, 8 to 10 difficult word count, 0 difficult words, uh, flesh reading ease, grade level, so it's grade 8 to 9, that speaks more to me, and gunning fog index, if you're not familiar with any of these, you can look them up. So this is great for both uh, K-12 and adult classes, as well as for English language learners, young and adults, depending on where you at. And that's it. If you have any questions about this, or if you'd like to know more, simply go into the top here where you get how to. I think this will really help you uh, get the ball rolling by trying out the tutorials that are available right here. Before we go, I just wanted to mention that you can create questions based on exactly what you're teaching. I think this is important. It has a question generator and you can go into questions focused on specific grammar topics such as this one, which is for presentation for prepositions. And then you simply generate the questions. In addition, you can also simplify the text that you've chosen. I think this is super important to make sure it's just the right level. Notice here, simplify the original text and then uh, simplify. Okay, it'll be simplified. Everything is generated by AI. So it's Roshi A. I. All you need to do is Google it. Roshi AI. There we are. Roshi AI. Click on it. And here we are. As easy as that. So I hope you enjoy Roshi Teacher Assistant and share how it's going. I'd love to hear back from you. Thank you.